Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Reading a text file line by line in Java can be accomplished using several different classes from the Java standard library. One of the most common and straightforward ways to do this is by using buffered reader in combination with file reader. Additionally, since Java 8, you can also use files.lines for a more concise approach. Below, I'll provide a tutorial that covers both methods. Hashtag 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 method 1, using buffered reader. This method involves using file reader to read the file and buffered reader to read it line by line. Hashtag 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 step by step guide. 1. Import necessary classes, you need to import classes from the java.io package. 2. Create a file reader, this will read the file. 3. Wrap it in a buffered reader, this allows you to read the file line by line efficiently. 4. Read lines in a loop, use a loop to read each line until the end of the file. 5. Close the streams, always close your streams to avoid resource leaks. Hashtag 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 code example. Hashtag 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 method 2, using files.lines. This method takes advantage of Java 8's files class, which allows you to read all lines from a file as a stream. Hashtag 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 step by step guide. 1. Import necessary classes. Import classes from the java.neo.file and java.io packages. To use files.lines, this method reads all lines in a file and returns a stream of strings. 3. Process the stream, you can use stream operations like for each to process each line. 4. Handle exceptions, use try catch to handle any potential IO exceptions. Hashtag 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 code example. Hashtag 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 summary. Buffered reader, this approach is efficient for reading large files since it buffers the input. It is a traditional way to read files line by line. Files.lines, this is a modern and concise way to read files using Java Stream API. It is well suited for processing files with functional programming paradigms. Both methods are effective for reading text files line by line, and you can choose one based on your preference and specific requirements. Make sure to handle exceptions properly to ensure your application is robust.